Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been buzzing in the hip hop community. We'll be discussing the controversial events surrounding Jay Z and Beanie Siegel's attempted murder case in the mid 2000s. Let's get right into it. In the mid 2000s, Beanie Siegel, a former Rock a Fella rapper, found himself in a legal battle after being charged with attempted murder. What shocked many was Jay-Z's response during the trial. According to Oskino, another Rockefeller alum, Jay-Z refused to vouch for Beanie Siegel's character during the trial. Despite showing up to court, Jay-Z's decision not to take responsibility for Siegel left many questioning their relationship. Let me tell you what I saw, bro. I saw, I came to court for Beans, right? When he shot that, he shot, allegedly shot somebody. Jay-Z got on the stand. They said, yo, are you going to be responsible for him if we let you go? Jay-Z said, no. Wait, nah, what, what year was this? Bro, I was there. I was there. My son was little, so it's probably like early 2000s. Yeah, I was, I was there. This, this, this ain't hearsay. This is me there in the courtroom. So wait, wait. The judge asked Jay-Z, would he be responsible Be for being Be Would you be responsible? If we let him go today, would you be responsible for him? He said, no, no. Is this before the success or is this af after the Beans Bean, success? Bean, he, was, he was Beans. He was already did the songs and all that. Yeah, it was success, yeah, success already. And when he, I, I, I was just thinking like, what did he come to court for then? If you're not going to, if you're going to say that, like, mind you, this is my thing. If I got a homie, all I got to do is say I'm responsible for him to get out. I'm saying it every time because if he kills somebody, something, they, he can't charge me with it. I mean, plus I got enough money to put him up somewhere anyway if, if I wanted to, but like, the judge basically just giving up, trying to give him an out to be able to get out. Just say, yeah. He said, no, bro. And I said, and nobody didn't say nothing. Nobody didn't flinch. I'm looking, mind you, I'm a jail nigga, so I'm looking like, what? Nobody not appalled? Nobody not saying that? They act like it was normal. Well, you know, he don't, really, don't, he don't want to be responsible for a grown. Bro, he not going to really have to be. The, the, there's no way in the law that say, well, if you say responsible for me, get out and do something, I'm going to charge you. You can't be charged with nothing. You know what I'm saying? He just said, no, like, no, nigga, I'm not fucking with you. Like, so I just be like, yo, I always, always thought maybe I was too street in my thinking. Maybe I'm just too street and I don't understand, like, you know, him being, maybe he's being more responsible than I'm capable of knowing about. But I just looked at it like, man, these balls is different. My thing is, don't, don't come to court for me if you're going to say that. Beanie Siegel faced a grueling legal battle, but ultimately he was acquitted of all charges. His lawyer, Fortunato N. Perry Jr., revealed that the jury didn't believe the victim's story, leading to Siegel's exoneration. Despite the ordeal, Beanie Siegel walked free, but the fallout from the trial had a lasting impact on his relationship with Jay-Z. Beanie Siegel opened up about feeling betrayed and hurt by Jay-Z's actions during the trial. He admitted that it strained their relationship and left him questioning their bond. In hindsight, Ziegel acknowledged that Jay-Z may have had valid concerns about his behavior at the time. However, the fallout from the trial was undeniable and it forever altered the dynamics between the two. And there you have it, folks. The story behind Jay-Z and Beanie Siegel's tumultuous trial. What are your thoughts on this controversy? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content from the Red Carpet Reup. Until next time, stay tuned.